Hey everybody, Matthew Morris, and I just wanted to really quickly do like a part two or a continuation video to the last one, which was about printing your work, and I got an art show coming up. The idea was always to sell prints plus what was in the frames. My first step was actually go to a local art supply store, and they had you know some stuff for cutting mats. I've cut mats before when I was in high school um, in art classes, and I didn't want to have to do that this time around. Instead, what I wanted to do was be able to save myself time. So I went on to Amazon and I found these pre-cut mats for my 13 inch by 19 inches. This is 18 by 24. Don't remember the size of these. They're 14 long. So 11 by 14. These are for the 8 by 10 prints. There's a little bit of overlap on all sides, about a quarter of an inch all the way around. Same thing here. It's about a quarter of an inch overlay all the way around. So what I want to do is show you the process for both of these, starting with the 8x10 and then working into the 13 inch by 19 inch print. And all you need to do with this one is to open up the top, grab your print, start to slide it in, and then you grab a business card, slide it in and around into the bottom. Just just continue to slide this in. Put it into your bag, close the bag up, and you're done. This is 19 inches by 13 inches. And I'm gonna grab one of my mats here, and it's a little bit larger. It is 24 inches by 18 inches. And we're gonna cut off a couple pieces that are yeah, about an inch and a half, two inches long. And then I need another two in pieces that are about two and a half inches long. And then this other piece is entirely up to you, but I just grab a small little piece. Now we're gonna flip this over and I'm gonna bring it up to the top part right here. And I'm gonna visually look at where I have equal amounts on both sides. And then I'm gonna just slowly pull it vertical, feel the top, feel the bottom, and see if I'm centered by feel. I'm just going to do these first two pieces to start. Then I can flip this over and then see if everything is how I want it to line up. Now here I want these edges to be vertical and I think that this is kind of tilted up which means that this corner is a little bit higher. So I'm going to very gently peel the tape off and that will allow me to just reposition the print and then I can flip this back now these longer two pieces I'm gonna grab them get a good half inch or so of the tape that has the print to the mat and I'm also gonna get another good half inch or so of the, that same tape there so we're gonna we have one piece coming up one piece coming across it that has some of the tape here but I use this really small piece and I pull this down and attach it right here. So now with this flipped 180 degrees, I line the edges up here, I grab my tape again, and I make a cut so that my piece of tape is just a little bit less in length than the entire width here. So then I just get my tape centered, and I try to keep it centered. Now this tape here then creates the hinge, which allows me to take this, and now this is ready to go inside of a frame. But for now, we'll grab a bag. Now for the 13 by 19 inch, you saw me using what is referred to as linen hanging tape. This is a two box set. You want to do the linen hinge tape because it's a much stronger tape. Uh, it's a cloth, so it's linen, right? It's some kind of a fabric and it's harder to peel, it really is hard to, you can't sit here and rip it, right? Um, and the tape itself is going to be slightly movable when you first hang the print and you do the hinging, but I give it a couple of days and it really tacks very nicely so then it creates a more permanent bond later on, maybe after a day or so, but it creates this more permanent bond. I'm really hoping that people are going to like them. All I got to do now is put my little sticker with the price. That's pretty much it. What do you do? How do you present your work? 
when you're trying to sell it at like an art show or something else similar to this or maybe even something completely different let me know i'm curious leave that in the comments below what do you think of this process um is this something you tried before is it something that you are thinking about doing you know for me i had a little bit of experience with this in high school i wanted to make the process a lot faster so i bought a whole bunch of pre-cut stuff i have links to all this below so you can buy them on amazon yourself um, i love the 13 by 19 size here i think it looks really great in this 18 by 24 and i think it's gonna look awesome on somebody's wall otherwise like share and subscribe and and make life an adventure